Welcome to the Why Not 3 podcast, where you get the behind the scenes of achieving a work-life balance with peak performance. Hey there, and welcome to the Why Not 3 podcast. It is 2017 right now, so have a happy new year. I am so glad that you've tuned in. We are going to step up for 2017. We're going to be releasing weekly podcasts and I'm going to try even to to manage about five times a week, uh, if not more. So definitely tune in and stay updated uh, and give us feedback. Uh, For today's podcast, we're going to be talking about some journals and planners that I've picked up uh, during the holidays to test out. Because uh, one of the issues that I've had with my clients is that uh, they're, they're struggling with the daily accountability. And it amounts into pretty big stuff, actually, because we have one client that was dealing with health issues. And I had told him to follow a certain diet that uh, would, would uh, stabilize him um, and make sure that we can introduce variables like, for instance, bread and see if he actually reacts to bread or something else. And we couldn't get him completely clean and I didn't understand why. And then I started tracking him every day for two weeks and I started understanding that he didn't actually eat completely clean. Uh, And because he wasn't tracking daily, uh, we didn't know why we had that issue. And the moment I started tracking him daily, um, we started cutting out the essentials out of his diet that were screwing his biology up. Uh, And then after those two weeks, we started reintroducing stuff like bread. Um, And that's when we discovered that he was gluten and casein sensitive. Uh, This especially was um, then confirmed because uh, he had done something called an ALCAT test. And it's the reason I'm in Germany right now, if you're following my YouTube channel, uh, because I also am going to do this ALCAT test. It's a food sensitivity test. Uh, But that's for another podcast because I don't have my results yet. For today's podcast, I want to look into these journals and planners that that are all over the internet because um, so far none of them have really helped uh, tracking my clients daily. Um, And so I want to dig in deeper why not and what we are doing at Why Not 3 for 2017 to actually help some people with this daily tracking. So let's just fly right into it. Um, In front of me, I have three uh, planners that I picked up during the holidays, the five minute journal, the productivity planner and the gratitude journal. These are the most popular that you find online. Uh, Two of them are endorsed by Tim Ferriss. And as many of you know, I do follow Tim Ferriss. I like his stuff. Um, I follow actually almost everybody that tracks himself and puts his uh, data online of his body just so that I can compare my data to their data, which is the essence of biohacking, I guess. Um, And if you want to achieve a work-life balance, you need to track every aspect of your life, not only only the health aspect, but also, of course, stress, uh, relationships and wealth. So let's uh, dive deeper first into the five minute journal. So the five minute journal, first of all, it looks really premium. It has a a cover that is crazy soft. It's material. It's not some plastic stuff or paper. It's some kind of really nice material. But um, the, the quotes are huge. And I'm not sure if it has any contribution to the whole aspect of the journal. Um, I was running this by uh, some of the people on my email list and one of the main complaints, of course, um, was that it was quite, quite big on the, on the, on the, on the quote side, uh, which is literally taking up some pages. Now, the thing that I truly, truly started liking about it is um, the way they start um, every page. So it has a, a specific quote. Uh, depending on which day you start with and they start with I am grateful for now if you are a coach or a facilitator you'll know that it's very important when you start feedback rounds to start with appreciation or something positive to shape the mindset so that uh, the debriefing or the feedback rounds don't become too ugly so I really like how they did that part 
Um, and this is definitely something important for my coaching clients because uh, many of them get uh, negative mindsets and it becomes a vicious circle. So this is definitely something to include in a journal. And I think we have in Why Not 3 planned something for 2017 where we kind of want to combine everything that we've learned during all the conferences that we gave and all the clients that we coached. Um, and then everything that I'm finding kind of in these planners that I'm discussing right now to create something that can really hold people accountable uh, and give them a nice tracking tool um, for every year. That way, when they go back, they will know exactly what it took to, for instance, get a six pack app or to get their uh, startup going uh, because they will just be able to to go to the journal of 2017 or 2018 just pick it up and uh, know exactly what habits they were doing uh, the three months before that. Anyway, so I, I definitely like the Grateful Four. I like how it builds up every week uh, where you have your reflections and you have your weekly challenge. Uh, the daily affirmations is something that has worked for many people. Um, I'm definitely not a stranger to that. When you sign up to the 30 day challenge, you also get my daily affirmations and daily creed. Uh, so I do like that, I have to say, but I'm not sure in how far it actually will uh, having two lines writing down daily affirmations. I'm not sure if that is actually something uh, that's going to change much of your life because it's very important to have specific daily affirmations until they come true and repeat them every day. That's why in my daily creed, um, I have about 15 to 20 lines based on what my mentor gave me. And I just repeat them every day, every day until I'm, uh, I make it. And every six months, I even do a vision board based on that. Um, and every six months, which is the funny bit, um, I accomplish uh, my vision boards. And they get crazier and crazier every time. Uh, but it just shows that daily affirmations um, have to be the same uh, daily until you kind of make them. And then you obviously switch to an even crazier daily affirmation. I like how they build up uh, daily and nightly uh, things. I'm not sure how far that will actually work for my clients because most of them don't. I'm str I'm really struggling getting them to do morning routines, uh, but on the evening routines they seem to um, really go, go big uh, because at the end of the day you're not going to do anything, so might as well do something like a journal. Uh, I also noticed for myself that. Um, when I go to bed, I tend to use these planners a bit more than when I wake up. Uh, so I have to force myself to do it more in the morning. And a journal, if you want to maintain it for a couple of years, is definitely something you don't want to force on yourself. Um, I think the one thing, however, that I don't force myself in the morning uh, is thinking of something positive, which is why I said that I liked I am grateful for. So that is the five minute journal. Um, I really like it. Uh, I'm not sure in how far it covers all three areas of life uh, work uh, from to get the optimal productivity and work life balance, which is health, wealth and relationships. Um, they have gotten uh, many things right. I would definitely recommend them to pick it up. Um, however, the one the second thing, which is a productivity planner, I seem to be more into the productivity planner, uh, more so than a five minute journal, but I think that's just subject subjective. Um, it's from the same company. Uh, and what I truly, truly like is that they've kept it uh, short on the intro. Uh, and most of the intro is actually more of an explanation, uh, which is something that in five minute journal, it just keeps going. And I kind of just start wanted to start with it right away. So that's something also for me to remind myself um, once we go into 2017 and try to create something for our clients to to have and not only clients, but eventually once it's uh, tried and tested, also released to to the people that are following us. Uh, what I truly, truly like again is here that they divided everything into Pomodoros. Now, Pomodoros um, are invented by this Italian guy um, and it's based actually on some science where uh, it says that you can only keep, uh, if, if you haven't trained your concentration too much, in general, you can only keep uh, focusing for 25 minutes. Um, 
and then you have to take a five minute break and then you do that again you do that four times and then after four times you get a long break which is about uh i know 25 30 minutes so they what they do is they ask you what's the most important task of the day you write the most important task of the day and then they have five bubbles next to it um, and every bubble represents 25 minutes so one pomodoro and then you pretty much have to uh, fill in how much time you spend on it that day i really seem to like that drawing aspect um, as many of you know if you have been to one of my train the trainers where i facilitated uh, that or trained you uh, one of the most important models that we teach is the savvy model which is which stands for um, how people retain information somatic um, which is the s the auditory a the visual and the intellectual um, and the clear idea if you're teaching something or you're giving a workshop is to trigger all four of those because then the retain retention shoots up from 20 percent to almost 80 to 90 percent uh, of that workshop and which means that at the end the goal gets re uh, retained so here obviously they're triggering the intellectuals and the somatics um, and the visuals um, and then if you of course repeat it in your head or you say it out loud you also get the auditory aspects so I really like that I also like that they have the productivity scores at the bottom because then you can literally just go through your entire week and know where you were super productive and where you weren't and what happened. Um, and I think because they have notes, you can literally write that. So for instance, yesterday we were traveling from Berlin to uh, a city called Dresden in Germany. And I, yeah, I pretty much couldn't do that much on the bus. So um, my productivity score was five, but I mean, it's okay, it's the first of January. Um, I still got to do a lot of things. Uh, we had our first bank actually that we invoiced. So that was a big milestone for me, switching to uh, bigger clients, um, and especially in the finance sector because we hadn't gotten anybody in the finance sector yet in my main company. So I really like the productivity planner. Uh, I don't know why, but I, th I seem to like it more than a five minute journal at the moment. In my perfect world, uh, we would have some kind of combination of the two because um, looking at what my clients are struggling with right now, um, it's definitely maintaining that daily accountability, but also having the space to, to track their food, to, um, have an idea how their relationships are going and whether or not they're calling the right people uh, and at the same time obviously being positive and thinking what they're grateful for so it's something that we have right now in the back of our minds as we're going in 2017 with the entire team now that we've doubled our team as well it's something uh, interesting we just got a new recruit as well the last month so it's something interesting that we're looking into um, creating for our clients um, that can potentially get them to the next level. Of course, if you truly want to make a great, great, great journal that uh, you will keep for the next pretty much 20 years, which is my goal because I'm, I'm using all of this stuff for myself, um, then you, yeah, you need to take some time and you need to reflect. And I'm planning to actually take an entire month out or at least a couple of weeks to to create something beautiful. Uh, the, the last one is the gratitude journal. I don't have that much to say about the gratitude journal, except that when I was on Amazon, it seemed to be the most practical, the most cheapest one. Um, and I just wanted to see what it's like to have an expensive, really premium looking five minute journal or productivity planner compared to this gratitude journal that was on Amazon and pretty much the cheapest. So the gratitude journal was uh, a simple book and the only thing it has is pretty much a couple of pages, two or three pages or something of intro. And then every day it just says, what are you grateful for? Now, it's really good, of course, uh, but it looks, I know I'm, I, I wasn't very interested in using it just because um, the only thing that I do is obviously not only being grateful because that that only gets you to a certain space. However, I think if you are a person that has negative thoughts, that would be actually the most practical one. I wouldn't go for the productivity planner and five minute journal. I would actually start learning um, to get positive thoughts first and I would get that gratitude journal. 
And then uh, you would build a habit of writing in a journal because the only thing it asks you is what are you grateful for today? So then you would get that. Um, I mean, you can create it on your own. You can create uh, a Word document and then just pretty much uh, print that out. And then just write what are you grateful for today? Um, I do seem to like having invested in something. My mentor always said for every dollar you invest in yourself, you'll get $10 back. And it's true. Um, I'm not affiliated to any of the of these three. Uh, just saying that now I, I know I forgot that in the beginning. But yeah, if you want to instill that habit of having um, positive thoughts and uh, creating the habit of writing in a journal, I'd actually recommend the cheapest option just because you then get started uh, and you can see what this is, gratitude, journaling and, and all of that stuff. And then if you want to go to the next level, you can start doing the productivity in five minute journal. I do have to say that um, I, um, I had a journal where I kept all of my trainings, all of my workshops, every speech that I ever gave. Um, my TEDx speech was literally written in that journal um, word by word. You can literally see the scratches um, that I did when I replaced words and stuff like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you do want to have something separate to keep you accountable and productive. Um, if you don't have an accountability buddy, which is something that we're going to go deeper into in the next podcast. But so, yeah, so these are the three work life balance journals um, that one is a productivity planner. The other one's a five minute journal and the other one's a gratitude journal. I think if there was a combination of all three of them, um, that wasn't too much um, of a hassle. Um, I think it would be great. Uh, so far, um, I, I have n no clue how we're going to introduce it to our coaching clients just because it doesn't track um, health and it doesn't track relationships uh, in the sense of food tracking and um, how they maintain their relationships. And there isn't enough space to even do that, of course. Um, and, and I completely understand because uh, you only have so much space in the journal that you can use. So in the next couple of months, uh, once my book gets released, this is something that we as a team are going to dive deeper into and see what we can release so that people can enjoy. Anyway, so that's uh, pretty much for today. Uh, have a happy new year outside of my window right now. It's snowing. I hope it's snowing as well, unless you're listening in from the other side of the world. Um, I really want to thank you for being here with me. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy it. Leave a review. Um, if you want, join the 30-day challenge. It's completely free. You can join it at whynot3.com forward slash 30-day challenge, 30-day-challenge. Um, um, I'll leave everything in the notes below, but you can pretty much Google it, uh, Why Not 3 Work-Life Balance, or find it on YouTube. Um, and yeah, and make sure to share it a little bit, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.